Good morning, or as they'd say here in Paso Robos at the Barardo Vineyard and Winery Bed and Breakfast, Buongiorno. Today is the start of day number four, and of course, as with starting any day, I find myself in the jacuzzi. I've got my morning paper, I've got my Samsung Galaxy tablet, and I'm gonna read the news and enjoy the start of yet another great day on this road trip that I'm taking. And, um, you know, when I started out on this road trip, I had no idea what to expect, and I certainly didn't expect that I'd be sitting here in a hot tub every morning and drinking coffee and reading Fox News on my Samsung tablet. I thought I'd maybe be in a campground or something like that. But uh, as luck would have it, here I am. So anyway, uh, it's been a great trip so far. Today is Sunday, and I had... Uh, I had thought that I was going to do something relaxing, but then I realized, you know, when you're self-employed, the days just, you know, they, it, the weekends aren't the same. So a Sunday could be a Wednesday or a Tuesday could be a Friday. It really doesn't matter. If you're self-employed, you just do what you want to do when you want to do it. And uh, I'm very grateful for that, by the way. Anyway, so today what I was thinking what I was going to do was I was going to go down to the Starbucks and I've got to do some work on this website for the Fort Collins uh, campground. And then after I do the uh, little bit of work down at Starbucks, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head out to Cambria and I'm going to do a little bit of sightseeing out in Cambria and then uh, come back and, and spend the evening here at the, at the bed and breakfast. So, you know, I got to say that this, this bed and breakfast, it's, it's a great place. If you're in California, you're doing a road trip, you need a place to stay, by all means, come and see John and Marilyn at their uh, bed and breakfast here. Um, anyway, so, uh, you know, getting back to the, the road trip, I didn't really know uh, what to expect. Sometimes I find that when I'm traveling or when I'm sitting at home, rather, I find myself wanting to be out on the road. And then when I'm out on the road, I find myself wanting to be back home. So uh, with this trip, um, you know, I, 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 I didn't know. I, I'm facing a little bit of a timeline as far as uh, wanting to be over in Cleveland and then back over into Europe sometime in June. But uh, from here, I definitely have to go down to Santa Barbara and I got to go see Yun. He owns the Casa del Mar Inn in Santa Barbara on Bath Street. I'm going to see him. And then uh, I could go down to Ventura, Thousand Oaks area. I've got several clients down in that area. And I've toyed around with the idea of going over to the Grand Canyon and then maybe Las Vegas, Denver, up through Salt Lake, and then heading back home. But uh, I just don't think that I, I'm prepared for that trip right now, mentally prepared. I've got everything else that I need, but uh, I just don't think that I'm mentally prepared. Mm. So anyway, uh, I should probably mention this cup right here was given to me by a one uh, Miss Desenza back in uh, the Cleveland, Ohio area. And I know she tunes into these videos all the time and she's probably watching this and right now she's probably saying, aww. So anyway, uh, Linda, yes, I, I still have this cup. I use it every day for my, uh, for my morning coffee. So um, anyway, well listen, it's, uh, I'm not gonna go on and on, although I could. But I think I smell something cooking in the kitchen. And John told me that uh, this morning he's making a, uh, a frittata. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what, what that is. Excuse me for not knowing that. But, uh, but I'm going to go in and see what a, just what a frittata is. John was telling me that uh, he should be able to make it if it doesn't stick to the pan. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what, that, what, that, uh, what that all entails here in just a few moments. So I'm just gonna go on, enjoy my morning. I'm gonna turn on the jets and just relax for a little while. All right, so here we have uh, Princess catching some morning sun. Kind of a, John was telling me Princess likes to do this now and then. So she's just uh, soaking up the morning rays there. All right, so just as I said, here's Mr. Berardo. Good morning, Mr. Berardo. Good morning, Tom. You're making the, uh, the frittata. Yeah, we're making some frittatas this morning. You know, I was telling the people on the video earlier, John, that I'm not really sure what, what a frittata is. 
Well, it's just uh, a frittata is just basically an omelet. It's just not all mixed together, scrambled. You just sort of put it in a pan, uh, cover it, and it's just sort of like one thing, and then you slice it. Oh, okay. An omelet. Oh, all right. So let's uh, take a look at what you've got here in the so pan. Right now we're just doing ingredients, so it's going to be sort of a, a Mexican style over here. So we've got peppers and onions and some uh, some yellow squash, and um, uh -huh. we're just uh, cooking everything now before we uh, put the uh, the frittata together. Okay, and then over here we have well, the bacon. We have some bacon here along with us today. Now, is that good old healthy turkey bacon? Uh, no, this unfortunately <laughs> is uh, not turkey bacon, but it's smoked bacon. Now. Smoked so, bacon. Uh, All right, so it should it should make for a great breakfast then, huh? Yeah, we sort of sacrifice. You got to sacrifice some health a little bit, but we're not going overboard. All right. Now you were saying that uh, you sometimes have problems with it sticking to the pan. Yeah. Well, that's just because you got bad pans. Oh, okay. So they've been advertising these new on uh, television, but I'm going to get the uh, the phone number. But they're they're uh, coated with diamond dust. Now wait, w wait a minute, Mr. Berardo. You're not one of those guys that watches TV and sees those little you know infomercials no, and say, I gotta get one of those, huh? I do not go shopping. I'm an 800 guy. You're an, you're an infomercial man. <laughs> now, have you ever bought anything from an infomercial and you got it and it wasn't what you expected? Oh, that, yeah, that that does that does <laughs> happen. And you always have the choice of sending it back, but. You know, probably people aren't used to sending back. I've never sent things back, but uh, uh, you have that option to do it 30 days. And you know, <laughs> not everything has been what I thought it was. And it looks great on TV when they do the advertising on it. And it uh -huh. looks great. You get it home, and it's like a little toy. Now, I think, I think you know, that maybe the models, you know, the models holding the, uh, the different things for sale look great, huh? Yeah, that's, uh, that always helps to sell. <laughs> All right, so I'll let you get on with the breakfast. We'll okay. be back here in just a moment. Okay, thanks, Tom. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, okay. In his. All right, so John was telling me that uh, due to the fact that some of his guests, you know, Some Like It Hot, wasn't it a movie, Some Like It Hot? Wasn't Marilyn Monroe in a movie called Some Like It Hot, John? I think so. Okay, so because Some Like It Hot, some being the guest, John put some, uh, looks like jalapenos, jalapenos in yep. here. And then what'd you put in, a little oil? Well, just so, yeah, I just wanted to get them cooked a little bit more. Okay, so you're gonna... We've already cooked the rest of the ingredients and took that out because uh -huh. it's done, but just okay. gonna give this a little bit of a cooking. All right, sounds great. Okay, so Master Chef Berardo is putting together his breakfast uh, masterpiece here. He's got the plates going with the toasted, uh, is that sourdough bread? No, just the regular Italian uh, Tuscan bread. Okay, so he's got some Tuscan bread there. He's got the the smoked uh, smoked bacon, and then over here in his eight uh, eight hundred uh, uh, thing over here, and, and uh, <laughs> this is going to make a couple little frittatas here. And, uh, okay. So you, you you did you see these on the Food Network late at night when you were channel surfing, yeah, and you said I got to get me one of those? Well, it was some channel, but I saw that I needed to get them. All right. So how long? How do you know when they're done? Well, you, so you can look at look them. Look at that. But, but there's a timer on them also. That looks great. Wow. So they got timers. Um, anyhow, they're called uh, ready, uh, ready, set, go. And I don't know if they're still selling or not. But right. okay. if you like them, buy them <laughs> if you're an 800 number buyer. All right. All right, so the frittatas are done, and look at that. It looks fantastic. You did a great job there, Mr. Berardo. That's a fr frittata. That's the, that's the one with the jalapenos in there. Okay, and that's the spicy one. Okay, so you'll get those out to the guest and then get our breakfast going, huh? Yes, sir. All right, sounds good. Okay, so it's about 4 o'clock on Sunday, and uh, I never thought I would work this late. I thought I was going to work till about 2 o'clock. And I thought I'd show you my little office here. This is my satellite office in Paso Robo. It's also known as Starbucks to many people. But uh, anyway, so I worked till four. I got a lot of work done on the KOA campsite, uh, KOA website, I should say, in Fort Collins. And um, I'm going to mosey my way back up to John and Marilyn's winery see what they're doing in the tasting room and when I was coming down here I actually thought 
that I haven't really put Marilyn in any, in any of these videos, and she's just as uh, much of a character as her husband John. So we're going to get Marilyn in the video. And if there's time, I'm going to take a drive out to Cambria and maybe down to Morro Bay and maybe get in a bike ride or just uh, cycle around on the unicycle for a little bit. So let's head on out and see what uh, John and Marilyn are up to up at the uh, Berardo Winery. All right, here's the tasting room at Berardo Vineyards and Winery, just down from uh, the bed and breakfast up on the hill. So we're going to go on inside and see if, uh, if Marilyn's in there. Marilyn is the, uh, the missus of the operation here at the vineyard and winery. Yeah. Hi, Tom. Well, hello, Marilyn. He came, the right, he came at the right time. I did? You're just, you're, Marilyn, you're just the person I wanted to see. Thank you, Tom. Yes. And are you going to photograph some of our lovely customers today? I will, but first I wanted to photograph you. Okay. If this gentleman would hold the camera for me, I'll come around. Oh, then I pretend you're John? You just look right there. All right. Well, this guy knows how to do it. Oh, he does. He's, he's an entertainer. Yeah, kids, yeah. He's an entertainer. Okay. Now, what are we doing? All right, so I've been telling everybody. Yes. You know, I've got lots of followers out there on YouTube land. Oh, you do? Great. Yes. <laughs> okay. And everybody has been, you know, your husband has been just the big celebrity these last few days. Well, he is quite and I, the and, I, and I've alluded to Marilyn. And here I am. And today, person, my, mom, today my mom, I was talking to my mom, and she said, where is this Marilyn? Oh, and you finally so, found me. So say hi to my mom. Hi, mom. Tell her she's got to come out here and visit. You've sometime. got to come out here and visit, and you've got a great son here. You have, you can be proud. So you are the, uh, you, you, you really run the show here, right? I mean, you are Gerardo. Well, yes, but the first person that ran it was this lovely lady in purple with the red hair. And Joey, is, I don't, I don't want well, to be on. She doesn't want to be on. I don't have my lipstick on. But um, as beautiful as I don't as either. You I don't even have anything. My name is Giovanna, and I was Giovanna. in charge for 14 years. You were. You used to run this place. I did, but wow. I retired in January. And what are you doing when you get off work? <laughs> Going home to lay on my sofa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, folks, you got to meet Marilyn. We're gonna have dinner tonight, right? Uh, yes, we are, Tom. Okay. Your your wish is our command. Oh, it is. Yes, tonight's night. Last right. dinner, last supper. All right, so we'll uh, we'll see you up at the house. I'm going to go out to Cambria and show them all that area. Oh, really? Uh huh. Wow, you're quite the adventuresome person. All, all right, right. please go. No. Okay, so uh, you had a chance to meet Marilyn and see the tasting room, and we're going to get on our way. All right, so I can check uh, Cambria off of my places I want to visit before I die. I'm here at Cambria. It was a beautiful drive from where uh, John's bed and breakfast is, and the scenery was beautiful. I mean, just 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 stunning. It was just rolling, open hills, and uh, just just really something. Uh, John came along with me for the visit out here. He uh, kind of surprised me. I invited him to come along for the for the ride. He brought his dog. Uh, Skippy, I think the dog's name is, but uh, John is quite attached to that dog. I'm uh, quickly realizing that. They don't go uh, any place without one another. So anyway, I'm going to uh, bring you along, and I'm, it, Cambria is not a very big town. I'm just going to kind of cycle down the main street. Uh, there's two main streets here, basically. I'm going to just cycle down and uh, bring you along, and then we're going to take a drive down to Morrow Bay. and. Uh, any moment there should be an eclipse uh, happening so maybe I'll try to get that as well all right so uh, let's uh, go check out Cambria eh? all right so this is the main drive right here in Cambria significantly cooler here I'd say it's a good uh, easily 20 25 degrees cooler here than it was up the uh, up the highway in um, Paso Robles, but uh, very very charming little place. I'm going to actually ride up onto the sidewalk, I think. 
So yeah, again, having this unicycle makes all the difference in the world. It really is a nice little town. I'm gonna be camping out this way. So I'll have a chance to walk, uh, walk through the town a little bit better in the coming few days. Here's a coffee shop. Still looking for a Starbucks. Cambria Coffee. Maybe they've got internet. I say I'd look for a Starbucks generally because that's the easiest place for me to to work. They always have a good, strong internet signal when I'm traveling. So I, I look for Starbucks and uh, my order, it's always the same. I get the, uh, the Vente wet cappuccino with an extra shot, extra hot, non-fat, one and a half sweet and lows and just a little dash of TLC is what I asked for. And the la last ingredient always, uh, always gets a smile. So I've just done a loop down the main drag here. Give you an idea as to what, uh, what Cane Bureau looks like. So we're gonna head out and go over to Morro Bay and we'll check that out as well. Oh shit. So it looks like we had a bad accident. Wow. Wow. No. The dog got away. I just opened the door for a moment. And the dog darted out and I was running all over town to get him. Oh jeez. So, I mean, we heard that in there, and I mean, so where did you see it happen? Did I see what happened? This? No. What happened? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Were you in the car? No, I was, at the, no, I was in, the, in the tasting room over there, and I said to that lady, I thought somebody hit a trash can. So nobody saw it happen? No, I was at the yogurt shop. I heard it around the corner. Uh, wow. Somebody hit it and left? Somebody hit it and left? Oh, this is in the car here that hit it? Huh? Did this car hit it? Well, that had to be the car. With this car? Yeah. Wow. So, so this car, this car hit my car. I don't know what, uh, what happened, but boy. Uh huh. I'll be damned. I I just stepped over. Sir, what happened? Huh? What what happened? I was slowing down. Uh huh. You were slowing down? Yeah, so I could go through the main street. And how'd you hit the car? Huh? What did you ask me? I'm sorry. You hit the white car. I know that. How did you do it? I, I'm trying to tell you that. Uh huh. Okay. What happened was that I was about a mile or so down, and I saw a couple of hydrogen, so I slowed down. When I got Excuse to the me. stop sign right here, I didn't realize there was a stop Please. sign. Please. You didn't realize there was a stop sign? I didn't realize there was one there. I okay. The, one, the main one, I know where that is. My fucking uh huh. Okay, well that's all right. So we'll we'll just get the police and everything will be okay. All right. You have to get the police. Well, we have to. Yeah. The cars the cars totaled. My car is totaled. So just hang tight, okay? All right. So you know I just can't uh, I just can't believe it. So here's the story. John was visiting inside of a, a wine tasting shop and he left his dog in the car, which was a wise thing because he didn't have a leash. And I was taking a video 
of Cambria on my unicycle. Well, I came back to put my unicycle in the trunk and I just cracked the door open big enough to reach my hand in and the dog ran out. So I'm chasing the dog all over, I'm chasing the dog all over, uh, I'm chasing the dog all over uh, Cam Cambria. And I come back and the dog, I, I kind of corralled the dog to come back up towards the car on Main Street. And uh, this is what I found. And I thought maybe John was uh, coming around and uh, looking for me and John got hit, but apparently not. This guy in this pickup truck was driving down the road and he just veered off and he just uh, totaled my car. So anyway, boy, if there were ever a time for the expression, life is 10% uh, what happens to you and 90% how you react, I gotta tell you, this is one of those moments. So anyway, I've got, uh, I got bit from the dog, so I've gotta get t attended to on that and then uh, find out where John is. All right. All right, so things have settled down. The tow truck is here and they're gonna tow my truck. The highway patrol came out and uh, Here's the old guy that just veered off the road. He was just driving down, he just veered off the road and hit me. And then uh, not only did he hit me, but he took out this other car right here. So you see what he did to that other car. So anyway, I've just gotta figure this out. My laptop and my camera bag are in the back of that, that car. So we'll, uh, we'll work it out one way or the other.